Hello, everybody. Good morning or good night, depending where you are. Uh, today, we are going to do a couple of different things. One is when I'm going to show you another way to use the medium. OK, uh, we are going to use it for glazing. And but first, I want you I want to show you something very interesting and that you should know about encaustic cuny. Um, I have this, this painting that I painted. Um, I don't re even remember when, like um, some earlier this year, where I um, uh, was doing just like this fast sketching for my students. So this is uh, I have this is has no value for me uh, because it was I was saying it, it's just you know fast sketching color sketching. So what I'm gonna show you is um, I have here this sponge, okay, and what I'm gonna try to do is remove the paint uh, from from the painting. And so let's see what happens. So I put this here in water. Okay. Let me squeeze it a little bit. So, so now I start scratching as hard as I can. As you can see, the paint doesn't move, <coughs> not a little bit. And it's getting as fast and hard as I can. So you see this uh, uh, painting is completely unremovable, okay? And uh, so I'm gonna even put it more water, okay? Ugh, I'm gonna make a big mess. Just to show you, you know, that you can do whatever you want to the painting that once it's dry, nothing affects the way the, you know, the way. So you see, nothing is coming up. I've been here floating already for a, okay, you see. So this is a very permanent technique. Uh, and that's also why the uh, Roman paintings were, you know, you can steal them today so perfectly because the weather didn't affect them at all. So you can have this outside, you know, in a wall and the paint is not gonna go off, okay? So, well, so this is, you, know, you saw this, how it works. So now, uh, let's uh, do today what we're gonna do, our painting. Um, let me put this away so you see, it's like, you know, looks perfect. Nothing has happened to it. We put it away, somewhere where I don't make a mess, this is so wet. And now, okay, I'm gonna, Dry the table a little bit. I don't get things too messy. Okay. So today I'm going to do um, glazing. Uh, this is this is a drawing that I have, and yeah, you know, just um, based on that, I'm going to make my drawing on on a piece of cardboard, so I really like, you know, this surface. So what I'm gonna make is a chiaroscuro, uh, using this as a model. And uh, so I'm gonna do the chiaroscuro just with white and black, okay? And then I'm gonna glaze it, mixing the color with the medium. Okay, and you will see that it's a very beautiful uh, luminous technique. But first, 
I need to prepare the surface of the of the board. Okay, so this is here. So yeah, so as always, yeah. this is like putting butter on a toast. I feel like I'm gonna have breakfast. Okay. If I press it hard to make sure that it penetrates the, the board or the cardboard, I would say. Um, okay. So I'm gonna put a little more just to make sure that I'm covering everything. Then more over here. And I think um, I'll try to do something uh, another day with this same technique um, to show it how the uh, Dutch Flemish painters used it because they were the ones first to use it because it's a very beautiful technique so what i'll do is um have ready a chiaroscuro chiaroscuro you know uh takes like a while to paint and then i'll just show how to glaze it with this okay Okay, so this is ready. And now I'm gonna do the let me do the drawing. So I'm gonna do Okay, so I'm gonna use, uh, I'm gonna show it to you, carbon black, okay. Like that. And... to the drawing using the black liquid, okay. Okay, so still using, you know, just liquid black to to make the drawing.
Okay, so the basic forms. See how this goes. We we'll come from here and here, and here. Same for this one. Calculate it again. I like go here. Okay. Okay, good. So now let's do this. Yeah, actually I like, but just that's my personal taste. I like smooth surface for painting because it defines more the brass stroke. Uh, always when you have texture like uh, with the canvas, that because the, you know, the, all that texture, the brass stroke gets less defined. But again, that's a matter of taste. It's, uh, Yes, like like that. Well, this for now. No, okay. Now I'm gonna bring white. Same. Okay, so here we have uh, titanium white. Let's put it here. Okay, so now I'm gonna mix it with black. Yes, to do here. Maybe a little darker. Then also here. Okay. Now let me see. I need my paper towel, which is here. And
Um, Lin Lin, if you are watching, um, can you try to see if you can connect with me through through YouTube? I think if uh, if you go directly to and uh, to watch this alive in YouTube, like right now, uh, you can connect with me and you can ask questions. Um, but I'm, again, I'm not very sure because I never tried. So you can try see what happens. Because it's too bad that, that we can't talk and people can have questions. Okay. Whoops, I meant to do it here, it's okay. So again, this is just um, black and white, okay. Um, you can also, I mean, when when we do it like for a, a Flemish painting, we will do it more with um, raw umber and instead of the black because it gives much warmer grays. Now, let's see. Maybe we'll see. Okay, a little bit of here. Okay. okay. Okay, let me keep going. Uh, let's see. And now, um, mm -hmm. Find a bigger grass. Well, now let's use this for now. Okay. Let's 
painting. Let me find more brush. Not paint. This is kind of uh, it's gonna be kind of uh, Giorgio the Kiriko landscape. Yep. Uh, Because it's gonna be kind of uh, um, Tuscany, Italy landscape. Shaded here on this side. Now, a little bit white. I was checking the if I was getting any written text, but I see that I'm not, so I'm gonna keep going. And also, if uh, you know, if you want me to make a copy of a painting that you are interested to see what technique was used, just email me and, and I'll do it. I'm very open to, you know, to do all of those things. So, so you cannot just learn how to use encaustic, but also to learn different painting techniques. Okay. 
So today, I think here in New York for first time this month, the temperature is gonna go one degree above freezing. When, so it's gonna be one grade one centigrade because we have been freezing like crazy this winter. So it's gonna seem like we are in, you know, summer. beautiful landscape. Okay, let's use a little more white. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So now let's see how dry it is. Should be a little more dry. What I'm gonna do is uh, just give it a little bit of um, hair dryer. I would like it theoretically uh, be completely dry, but. Since this, I want to finish it today. We can, if I apply it carefully, um, you know, it won't mix up with the with the bad one. Okay, so let me get my hair dryer.
Okay, so a little more cure now. So I'm gonna get the colors ready. And let me see. Let me see if it matches five. Okay, so now we decide the colors to be. Okay, so I'm going to use also yellow. So I'm going to put it here. Let me clean the palette knife. Yeah, I remember in this morning that last year, at this time I was in Abu Dhabi. So I'm missing it. I'm missing all those. They invite me, the government of Abu Dhabi invite me for the opening of a um, of a residence for artists, which I really recommend if anybody wants to go. And uh, you, you can email me for information if you want to. But uh, that residency is in the middle of the desert and with these huge dunes, and it's like the most amazing place. So they invited 20 artists from different parts of the world and um, and then we were stay there for almost three weeks and with all the work that we did but let me explain so okay so i'm getting you know the um the medium okay so i'm gonna mix a little bit of yellow with the medium so it's mostly medium Okay, let's see. So this is very, very transparent. Now, let me find a um, glass that's clean. That's important. Uh, let's see. Okay, so you see my paper towel here. Okay, so basically, with almost no water, I'm gonna put it in top. Ugh. Make it a mess. Let's see, clean this. Move it over a little bit, okay, like this. So I'm letting the white, you know, since it's so transparent, the white underneath is bringing the light for the color, which makes it extremely luminous, like almost an iridescent color. And so it's important that the white is dry so it won't mix with the with the yellow because if it mixes the color loses its it shines because it becomes soggy like uh, instead of such a clean color.
Okay. So now I'm going to do let me see. I'm going to do a nice blue. Um, So I'm gonna do an ultramarine blue. And uh, I'm gonna clean this well. So I get a little bit here. I think I'm gonna get a touch of Purple too. Let's see, purple. Yeah. So this is my dioxin violet. Get a little bit. Yes. And then again, I'm gonna get. The more of the medium, so I'm gonna mix. See if you can see. Yeah, so I'm gonna mix the color into the into the medium. So again, it's gonna be very transparent. Yes, add a little bit of water to make it a little more fluid. Tiny bit of purple. That's too much for my taste. So a little more blue. Okay, let me see a tiny bit of blue. I don't want to put too much color so it won't lose its transparency. Okay, so there you are. Clean this well. Okay, so too much work. It depends, you know, how thick or liquid you want it, you put water or you don't. Ooh, mm, too light. So we need more color. Then I'm gonna put more bloom. This one a little brighter. So see. Okay, this is much better. So the thing about using the medium is it's very, it's very transparent, but at the same time, uh, gets you know it doesn't lose body. It's just a very thick, nice paint. Same here. Okay. 
Okay. Now. So this is getting done. Let's see what time. Oh, I'm going to just go a little faster because I see that it's already 45 minutes. Okay, so I keep going. Now I'm going to paint right gray. Orange. Okay, so I'm gonna use this red, which is natural red, which is it's very warm. It's a uh, almost orange. It's not com it's not orange, but it's very close to orange. Okay. So again, more medium. Let's put it here. Red. Let's see it two is. Okay, let's make it and now. Okay, this. It's so liquid. Let me mix it with the knife a little right there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to just choose some um, orange so I can combine, you know, some more red, some more orange. So this is the Pira Solon orange. I have these names difficult to pronounce. Mix a little orange with these. We can have some here. Yeah. There was more red. Again, of course, uh, then I will take a picture of this and I'll put it up so you can see more the texture because I know with this camera everything becomes kind of blurry. Still also have to find out a way to, you know, really make it high definition so you can see much better technique and what I'm doing. Okay. And this. So actually I'm gonna have uh, an exhibition in Madrid. I guess um, by the end of April, and uh, gonna present this kind of work. Okay, cool. Um, let me see. 
now I'm gonna talk so now with white again I'm gonna bring out some texture to the to the floor Ooh, I went too far. Okay. So again, I'm doing this with white to go after with uh, glaze in top of uh, with uh, another color because this um you 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 will see if you you do a painting using this technique how bright the colors are and see for next week I can do uh, you know Dutch painting Flemish. So I can show you how the those painters in the Renaissance were using this technique. See that we are. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's looking nice. I was thinking, I forgot I was talking about Abu Dhabi. Actually, I'm gonna see, try to find out if I is smart enough to be able, I'm gonna see if I can send you the link to the place because really you wanna spend like a month painting in an incredible place. Um, I, I really recommend it. Okay, so I'm going to leave this for here. Let me see if I can find the... I'm capable of putting the link here. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Control group. No, this is not. Google effects. 
Spend time um, okay. Okay. but I'm eating from others. Okay, I'm fine. Okay. And find the place which is called part. Um, Okay, so I'm sending now the place. So they have two places, one in the city, uh, which is nice, but uh, the one that I like the most, the one is in the desert. Let me see if this is the same website or. Okay. 